I'm here with 2008 Roberto Quinte Award winner, Albert Pujols. Albert, thank you for joining, man. Thanks for having me. We are in the museum, and one of the cool things here, you see all the exhibits, and what I'm holding right now in my hand is Roberto Clemente's Game Use Glove. What do you think of that, Albert? What's your first thought? Pretty sweet, pretty sweet, and uh, it's amazing, you know, how small it is for an outfield glove. And inside this box is this 1960 World Series Game Used Uniform. I mean, just touching this. Pretty sweet. <laughs> now you've won Rookie of the Year, you've been MVP, you've won World Series. Where does the Clemente Award stack up for you? It's out there. It's probably one or two, but uh, it's, it's pretty special, you know, because at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, what Roberto Clemente means to all the Latin America. He's kind of like, for us, the, the Bay Roof, the Jackie Robinson. I think what took me the most is with the platform that he was using, you know, to serve others. And, you know, that winning that award uh, means everything to me because it's not what you did in the field, but what you do off the field. Just to be able to just mention my name, you know, in the same sentence of the world command is what an honor. One of the most humble superstars you'll ever meet in Albert Pujols, built in the mold of Roberto Clemente. Concerned more about others than he is himself. He encapsulated not just Puerto Rico, but the whole Latin community. And, you know, you're from a Dominican descent. And the impact of Roberto, what was that like in the Dominican? You know, you heard Grandpa, my dad, you know, I was a young little boy talking about it. You learn about the legacy and who he was. And then I got an opportunity to meet some of his kids, his wife. I think, you know, as a player, you stay focused on, you know, you get this platform that God has given you, you get the blessing to have a great career, but what are you gonna do with that? And with Hang, it was about giving back always and care about not just here in the city of Pittsburgh, you know, but back in Latin America, Puerto Rico, you know, and everywhere uh, that he went, he left his footprints. And that's something that is pretty special for all of us. It doesn't matter where you come from, <laughs> Venezuela, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican, Cuba, it doesn't matter. He left that fruit print all over the place. And, and you've left that footprint. You've had so many things you've been involved with off the field. Mm -hmm. What's one that kind of stands out and how'd they get started? No, for me, uh, you know, as you know, I have a daughter with Down syndrome. That was really easy for me to start my foundation. Through the foundation, we'd be able to do a lot of events, whether it's prong, cooking classes, Little things like that, then maybe it doesn't, it's not a huge deal, but to them it is. And uh, that's something that I, that I always feel that I have that responsibility to do. What has your daughter taught you, the one with Down syndrome? What, what have you learned from her? Isabella had taught me a lot. How to love, how to be patient, how to be kind to others. Because of her, I'm able to change life, not just here in the United States, pretty much in the Dominican Republic, because you can't forget where you come from. And myself, you know, making our first mission trip, I remember in 2006 was amazing. And the life that we were able to touch. Hopefully the life that you live is longer than the plain time life that you, that you do. And it's about giving back and touching life. That's something that I, that I always feel that I have that responsibility to do.